The next method for consciousness change is we need to change the quality of our attention. This is directly in relationship to the information that we take in. Human beings are very definitively the product of the information that they have taken into themselves. So the quality of what we put in is going to determine the quality of what we get out, of what we experience, and what we, uh, how we experience the world. Thomas Jefferson said that if a nation expects to be ignorant and free in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and what never will be. Truer words were never spoken. There is no such thing as the simultaneous coexistence of ignorance and freedom. It is one or the other. An ignorant population is an enslaved population. And a well-informed population is a free population. So this is why reading is so important. Reading really is a key to understanding. We need to read information that was considered important enough that the people that came before us placed it down in writing. And this is how we become informed. We take in good information and we become inwardly formed. That's what information is. The process of becoming inwardly formed. And by becoming informed, we can be reformed. We can make ourselves anew with the new information that we have taken in to ourselves. See, this is what we generally have right now in the mass media and the popular culture. People hypnotized, paying attention to propaganda and mind control. And that's never going to get us up to a higher level of consciousness to solve the problems that we're experiencing. We have to change the quality of our attention. If we continue along this route, we're going to become hypnotized. In the sense of the word, if you break it down into its into its uh, constituent elements. Hip in Greek is uh, uh, a word that relates to the depression of the spirit. And gnosis is knowledge or information. So hypnosis is knowledge or information that creates the depression of the spirit or a state of unconsciousness. And it puts someone into a trance state of mind. That's essentially I'm not talking about clinical hypnosis or hypnotherapy here. I'm talking about hypnosis from a fundamental point of view of being a trance state of consciousness. A, a one that is controlled by someone else and, and, and one, another person is placed into this trance. Often through their own will, through accepting that information, accepting the, the uh, practitioner's invitation to go into the trance. We're going into a state of hypnosis willingly by paying attention to the information, the, the, the often horribly poisonous information that we accept from the mainstream media and from mainstream sources. But now, uh, see if we follow along in that, in that uh, ideology, we're going to go into a state not only of hypnosis but of fascination. The word fascination breaks down to a fascination or a fascist nation. The word fascist coming from fasci, it's encoded in fascination. We break words down, we see hidden meanings actually encoded into words that we speak, but we don't really look at the, the underlying significance of the word or how the word breaks down. You go into fascination and that's the step toward becoming a fas fascist nation. We can go into a trance formation, okay? uh, a, a, a state of mind that resembles trance, mind control. We don't want that kind of transformation. We want a true transformation. We want th to inform ourselves through the new alternative media that is truly a blessing and a gift that we have available to us, uh, possibly you know, uh, at this level for the first time at this wide of a scale. 
the internet is that new form of information and the new media that is arising on the internet is profound and it is really helping to awaken the consciousness of the planet and we need to use it and protect it and use it to its full benefit in our lives so we can undergo a true transformation to go beyond form transformation go beyond form